hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920. Height I'm going to choose 180. Frame rate is uh, 30. Duration is 1 minute long and background color is black color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Selection. Then I'm going to select my text tool and for the font I'm going to choose Oswald but you can choose any font you want and I'm going to apply the red color for this font and simply hit OK. Then we will type our text. I'm going to type typography but you can type whatever text you want. Select this layer, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now after that select this layer we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second layer and we will lock this layer now select this layer uh, and let's delete all of this uh, alphabets simply select this t and we will go to the character menu and we are going to choose white color now select this white color simply move this over here like this uh, okay then select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it by holding shift i'm going to move this over here and choose this to move y, y hit ctrl d move this over here and we are going to call it as p okay then adjust it properly hit ctrl d to duplicate it press v for selection tool by holding shift i'm going to adjust it over here and ctrl t to select your text tool and type o okay and with the help of arrow keys you can adjust it same procedure we will follow for all of these alphabets and we will change their text and uh, we will adjust the positions properly like that okay hit ctrl d hit ctrl d type p hit ctrl d move this over here type h adjust the position and last type y and simply move this over here okay and let's delete this extra tire t layer we don't need that and let's make this fit okay select all of them press p for position create one keyframe go to around 1.20 frames create one keyframe then we will take a gap of 10 frames create another keyframe then go to around 4 second create another keyframe now let's go to the start press v uh, and by holding shift i'm going to bring this layer at the top then go to the last keyframe and we will bring this layer at the bottom like this okay now select those keyframes and we will hit f9 then we will go to the graph editor we will select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here okay select this and move this handle over here like this okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation over here now after that uh, alt click on this stopwatch of this position and apply loop out expression over there hit ctrl a and to select this hit ctrl c to copy this alt click on this stopwatch and press ctrl v to paste it same procedure we will follow for all of this okay simply hold alt and up apply ctrl v to apply that expression so what will happen after four seconds we will get this animation in the form of loop now let's go to four seconds and we will hit n so uh, our animation is gonna end there simply bit by hitting ctrl h select all of them and make sure to enable this motion blur like that now hit u to minimize it now i'm going to take a distance of five five frames and i'll select this y move this over here go 10 frames move this over here 15 frames move this over here so basically i am taking a distance of 5 5 frames to you know create this animation 
then select all of them go to the start and simply move this over here okay like this now select all of them press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as fill and hit ok now select this hit ctrl d up to let's say 18 times we want 18 duplicates of it like that okay then over here as well we will take a distance of 5 5 frames and we will adjust it one by one but how we can adjust simply select this 18th layer first then by holding shift select first layer hold alt close bracket <coughs> i mean close square bracket i trim this properly up to 15 i mean 5 frames right click and choose keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok <coughs> sorry but if you see uh, this is uh, starting from here but we don't want that like that so what we will do we will hit ctrl z let's say first we will select this first layer then by holding shift select this 18th layer right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok okay so we will get this kind of uh, effect then select this and simply move this over here then go somewhere around over at this point then hold alt open square bracket to trim up to this go to the start and simply move this over here so what will happen we will get this animation in the form of loop now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this fill over here and hit ctrl d to duplicate it double click to open this fill select all of these alphabets and i'm going to choose black color for them and in this stroke options over here i'm going to choose white color and stroke pick width i'm going to choose three pixels now by holding ctrl i'm going to select this second fourth sixth basically i am choosing alternate layers over here and by holding alt i am going to replace it with this fill so we will get this kind of animation okay now uh, let's do one thing we will select this fill two layers let's say okay by holding control i am going to select that and from here i am going to change their color to yellow and i lock this layer so i can understand that these are the black colors white black and white stroke layers now i am going to select this fill layer not this first one but this third one and i am going to go in my effect and presets panel and i'll search for fill effect and double click to apply and this time i am going to choose this uh, you know green color over here and make sure it should be the light green and simply hit ok now copy this fill effect hit ctrl c select this fifth layer hit ctrl v we will go to this option and we are going to choose a little bit darker version of this and hit ok then i'll select this layer hit ctrl c again i'll apply this seventh layer hit ctrl v we will choose again a little bit darker version hit ok select this fill effect again ctrl c to copy select this ninth layer hit ctrl v to paste it and we will choose again the darker version so basically we are going to to gonna do a little bit darker and darker and darker like that hit ok again select this hit ctrl c select this 13th layer hit ctrl v select the little bit darker version again ctrl c to copy select this layer hit ctrl v we will choose a more darker version of the screen select this hit ctrl c and select this last hit ctrl v again and we will choose again a darker version of the screen so now if i see this animation i'm gonna get this kind of effect over here like that and that is also going to be in the form of loop like this okay so as you guys can see we'll get this kind of stuff now let's unlock on these layers over here select this first layer i'm gonna go in my effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply and we are going to choose softness 100 and distance 0 and opacity also 100 we will copy this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c to copy select all of these layers and hit ctrl v to paste it so we will get this kind of effect. and this animation also going to be in the form of loop so this is how you can create this kind of creative text animation inside of after effects